Political antics may be reaching a peak as the main parties, the JLP and the PNP, trade verbal blows. In the latest round, a state minister challenged two veteran PNP members, accusing them of desperate attempts to spread misinformation. Here's Natalia Clark with that report. Bunting's comment regarding the Sparks program are unbecoming, disgraceful, and false. That's JLP MP Juliet Cuthbert Flynn's reaction to opposition member Peter Bunting saying the government's $40 billion Spark program is a mask for corruption. We are prophesied, says that Chinese company are in the country. We are The program will be going to international tender and is above board. What he has alluded to is how the PMP used to use the programs over the years for their political gain. The MP suggests that Bunting's stance may be influenced by concerns that continued improvements in Jamaica's road networks could lead to increased support for the Andrew Holness-led government. And I think he should be ashamed to speak about the state of the roads after the PMP promised us pothole free by 2003. That was a hollow promise which was never fulfilled. And so I think Bunting's comment is another indicator of how the PMP are desperate. Ian Hales, the PNP's vice president, didn't escape her jabs. She pointed to a video in which he alleges three prisons are being built in Westmoreland, one on the grounds of the Landaila Cultural Center. There are two police stations that will be built in Westmoreland, one in Frome and one in Little London. There will be no police station built on the cultural site in Westmoreland. There will be a divisional headquarters that will be built close to the cultural site. She explains that these facilities must be completed with holding areas for detainees and explains the move to build new police stations was a necessity. The government of Jamaica is intent on improving the conditions and morale of our police force by giving them the appropriate workspace. It is a disgraceful act that Ian Hales has sought to politicize efforts to improve the working conditions of the police and make deceitful and false allegations that three prisons are to be built in West Milan. She's urging Jamaicans to take note of what she says are the varying desperate attempts of the PNP to spread misinformation ahead of a general election. We should reject this kind of despicable type of politics. Natalia Clark, CVM News.